Hello, and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Peglin. I've had my eyes on this uh, for a while and it seemed really interesting. I'm uh, doing this video in collaboration with the Game Development World Championship, which is a uh, aggregate site that uh, basically shows off different games and also uh, allows developers to kind of compete for, for prizes. Joining is free and uh, it's also a, a good site for finding and discovering new indie games that seem pretty interesting. This seemed like a good fit because I am uh, very keen on trying a lot of different stuff and they seem like a site that is uh, open to a lot of interesting variety and uh, different genres. So I was, uh, I was pretty keen on this. So uh, with that being said, key provided by both the GDWC and as well as the Red Nexus Games developer. Thank you all very much. Appreciate you, bud. Uh, let's, let's try Peglin. Peglin is a jack of all trades with access to almost all orbs and relics. Flexibility and adaptability are the keys to Peglin's victory. So as I understand it, this is... That, that sound is super loud. I'm going to have to turn that down in a second. Would you like a boost? Would I like a boost? I don't know, sure. Uh, musk circle. Starty, okay, yeah, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to turn those down. I thought I did, but no. So um, b this is basically Peggle meets roguelike um, game, and it seemed pretty interesting to me. So uh, I am a Peggle fan. W would I say I'm a large Peggle fan? I don't know. I like Peggle fine enough. I like me a Pachink. A pachinko. Um, I like me a uh, plinko. Plinko is a, is a fun way to gamble your money away, I suppose. Actually, I've never played plinko uh, as it is traditionally known as a way to, to throw your your money away. Uh, but I do like Peggle. Peggle's a, a pretty fun casual experience. And I, you know, I can appreciate what it is and I can also appreciate it as, a, as an RPG form. It's an interesting idea. There's been a, a literally a couple of these. I say literally because there's been two um, kind of attempts, I think, to make uh, Peggle um, mixed with a RPG slash roguelite uh, kind of game before or in the last couple of years. And I'm interested to try the other one. I think it's called Round Table or something, but uh, it seemed pretty cool. Um, but this this seemed cute cute as a button, and I. I <laughs> I was actually um, kind of I kind of regretted not trying to trying to jump on this when it came out, but it's still in early access. It's still um, got a little bit of ways to go, so maybe uh, maybe we'll, we might we might find some bugs, but we might also find the wall of like, well, this is this is definitely where the game could uh, use some work. Um, by the way, I'm not uh, I'm not I haven't been asked to speak uh, like, you know positively exclusively positively towards the game i just want to make that clear and transparent um okay we got rock stone no special effects okay uh oh i see does it new orb stone okay attacks all enemies uh echo x deals x percent of the previous attack damage as bonus damage sure that sounds good so we're moving on um oh is this like the end of the level? No, I don't know. Uh, it seems like the only place we don't want to go is in the fire spot. Was that a way of picking the next floor? Yes, it was. Okay, good to know. All right, so we're moving on. And so, okay, I'm starting to see now. So we have a certain number of uh, balls, uh, for lack of a better word, and uh, we got a new one, which was the Echorb. So good to know. We have five orbs in which we need to fight these. I have to assume maybe after launching all of these balls, um, then the, the the enemies get their turn. But I could be totally wrong about that. Ooh, that was a nice shot. Nice. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna do Echo 15 plus one. Okay. Nice. That that pretty much killed everyone. The dagger does very little damage as a regular attack, but it is incredibly strong on a critical hit. If you don't think you can hit the exclamation point this turn, you can discard the dagger by using the garbage icon near the orb information on the left. That one? Okay. Um, well, I should be able to hit it, and I have a little bit of a guidance here, so maybe. No. Okay. So we did 10 damage. 
Okay, well, you know, you can't, they can't all be winners, you know? All right. Well, hopefully, well, I don't know how much damage they're gonna do. It's, apparently, we've already taken one damage. The thing about Peggle is, you know, it is basically pure chaos. Ooh, that was nice. Um, you can't really be totally sure of uh, what, you know, where the ball is gonna go. You can only try and, like, predict a little bit. Oh, there we go. That was perfect. Nice. Okay, so we only have the one slime left here. Boop. Just because we're not throwing a dagger doesn't mean we don't want that critical. I don't know what the green one does. I think it recovers the whole map or resets the whole map. Yes, it seems to do that. So we wanted to do more damage than that because now we're throwing the Ec Orb. That being said, we're going to get a crit with the Ec Orb, so that's kind of nice. And we can see, oh, okay, the, the enemy is right on our doorstep now. Oh, crit. Nice. Oh, this could be really good, actually. Oh, nice. All right. We can heal or we can upgrade an orb. I would like to upgrade an orb and I'd like to upgrade the Ec Orb. That's that's the way I play. You double down on your best asset is what I like. Also that upgrade, that, um, that uh, hits all enemies, which seems like a better way to go than doubling down on one that just does a lot of damage to the top one. I have mentioned before that I, I think this whole like choices tree ladder thing has been done kind of to death i'd like to see a little bit of uh, i'd like to see maybe one or two games um shake this format up a bit this one does in that you have you pick your level purely by peggle rules embrace the lightning woods grow darker and darker as you progress until you find a clearing where it is pouring rain embrace the lightning or sprint and dodge embrace the lightning as you walk into the middle of the clearing you are struck by lightning you shiver as the energy courses through you but it harmlessly congeals in your satchel in the form of a ball of lightning. Nice. So now we have a choice. So yeah, we may make our choice via Peggle physics. And so there's a little bit of chaos there. And that's, that is a uh, method definitely of shaking that up. You found a ball of lightning. These orbs can pop additional pegs with chain lightning. They can also attack any enemy you target on the screen. All right, let's see how good this uh, lightning is ball lightning is one of the best ways to deal with pesky ranged enemies so all right so we've got our ball lightning here zaps an additional nearby thing every bounce can target any enemy oh am i supposed to be targeting enemies how do i do that did i did i f know about that f i don't know how to target enemies all right well i'm sure i'll figure that out later um all right let's throw let's throw, I'm gonna throw it towards those resets because then maybe we can well it doesn't matter it's it's not going to the resets oh well that was pretty good oh my god 68 damage I got I gotta say the the music's got this kind of like almost crash bandicoot quality that I'm really appreciating you might be able to hear it oh that was a bad throw bad throw um Oh no. I need to figure out how to give me give me one second here. So apparently just clicking on an enemy is good enough to target it. Good to know. Alright. We're hoping for something good here. Ooh, this is this is looking pretty good. Ooh, and a crit. Oh wow. Apparently that was enough to throw a bomb. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, okay, okay. Um, I kind of want to hit that reset. Let's see if we can't make miracles happen here. No, no, no miracles for me. All right. Oh, crit. That, that's kind of a mini miracle. All right, we're going to start taking some damage here. Including range damage. Wow. Uh, I, okay, so the problem here is I want to hit that crit. Oh, okay. You, you know, in a, in a pachinko, you can't really make plans. It just doesn't really work. You can try, for sure, and I, you know, admirable attempt. I did throw some bombs and kill everyone, 
so okay never mind uh what is this allor allorb nothing all orb nothing oh weak regular damage that cannot be modified massive damage on crit ice circle regular attack pierces one enemy i kind of like the uh ball lightning so i'm gonna add another one of those and uh i'll go ahead and go over here there's not much of a choice here it's kind of one skull or another skull I guess um, direction kind of matters. If I memorize the map, or I guess I can press M, then I would have known that the right skull would have been better because then it could have headed toward a uh, treasure chest. Oh well, that's that's me not uh, not playing optimally. What else is new? You know, like that's that's just me. I I like to play unoptimally. That's how I have fun. So we have. I, I seem to recall seeing this uh, map or. or uh, alignment of, of orbs before. We did a lot of damage that before. That means the Ek Orb is going to do extra damage, and we even have access to the crit there. So this should be really, really good. That's also uh, a pretty good hit, too. Look at that. That was nice. I like that. That smack <laughs> sound sounds so stock. No offense. Um, ooh. Oh! Yes! Excellent. Well, I should have, um, I should have been aiming at someone with more health. So I'm gonna aim at the spider. Spider scary? I, I think that if I hit the bomb, it makes my attack a bomb. Yeah, it does. Okay, good to know. And then I also do an extra attack. I am taking lots of damage. I want that crit. I want that crit. Spider in the room, it's spooky. Um, I mean, that was good. Oof. But I'm still gonna take another hit. All right, not doing, not doing really good right now, but that's okay. I, I, I'm gonna assume I'm not going to maybe win my first game of Peglin. This is the kind of game where you're gonna, you're gonna wanna learn some strategies a little bit. Upgrade an orb. I kind of want to upgrade my lightning orb, or at least one of my upgrade. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna read it. I'm gonna play very fast and loose here. We're gonna get ourselves a treasure chest. Oh, I see. I could have gotten a question mark and a treasure chest. See, that's me not playing optimally again. Dumbbell. Every reload grants plus two must circle. All right. Uh, I'll definitely take that. So let's have a look at the map here for once. There's basically no difference, but if I go to the right, I'll get an extra question mark as opposed to just one before I fight the boss. We got ambiguous amulet. Wall bounces contribute to damage. Nice. Then we'll go to the right. There, there was basically no difference there. And then you stumble onto an, a strange mirror with shadows flickering in the reflection. You're drawn closer and closer until your nose is nearly touching the glass. The shadows are speaking a language you've never heard before. Remove an orb. Remove all orbs. What? What do you mean, remove all orbs? No. I'll remove a rock orb. For negative eight damage. You embrace the infernal energy and push your stone. Level one through the mirror. You hope the shadows make good use of it. Is there like a kind of a mirror thing going on here? That's kind of cool. I want that special ability in the game. That was a good one because then I have a choice of two question marks. Oh, here we go. We got some. Uh, we got some flat blocks now. Wondering. Okay, we want to. We want to get into one of these little scoops. Look at that. Ooh, and we got a we got a bomb, so we should be doing lots of damage now. Let's see if we can't get another bomb here. Oh! Oh, never mind. Oh, okay. Not great. Oh, I got rid of both the plants, so that's not nothing. The nice thing I guess about the rocks is they they fall pretty hard. 
so um, you don't have to worry so much about the their bounce creating extra chaos. Let's get a crit uh, lightning. Nice. Oh, that log has 200 health. I see, so it's, it's going to defend the other creatures. It's going to block me from hitting the other creatures. But that's okay, we got a, a lightning. Or sorry, a, um, a crit a crit bomb. I should have just selected the other enemy. I'm not sure why I didn't do that. Okay, we've got a, we've got a, a lightning here, so we can do a crit lightning. Nice. Okay, we could heal. That would probably be a good idea, but I'm going to go ahead and upgrade an orb. I'm going to do my echo again, because I do think my echo is doing pretty good damage for us. Let's just head that way. I don't know if hitting more blocks on the, on your way out maybe gives you more stuff. A dark obelisk looms before you. It hums with a tantalizing power, and you can feel its connection to the earth. Pray to receive its power. Force stone into the obelisk. So I could get rid of some of my... One of my stones. Yeah, let's do that. I have I have some pretty good orbs, and I'd rather have them over another random orb. Okay, we're gonna be fighting a boss. We're fighting uh, like a seal, but I, it looks like I'm gonna be there's a, there's a tree in my way. Well, we're already ooh. I I hit a bomb and a crit. Nice. Let's hit another crit. This will do. This will uh, help my next one as well because it'll um, my echo will do more damage. Okay, so that's what's happening here. That's okay. We're we've got an echo and it's a crit, so we should be able to kill that plant in the background that just spawned, as well as maybe do some damage to the tree. Nice. Looks like I'm taking damage no matter what, though. Uh, there's no way I was going to hit that crit. Oh, I could have hit that crit down there, though. That would that was a, a little bit of a dumb play. Ooh, nice. Okay, we're going to... Oh, we have an echo, so I, can, I, I should target um, the seal. I wonder if you hit a second echo, are you doing, like, double crits? Or is it just a waste of a crit? I wonder. Uh, I didn't mean to target the tree. I didn't mean to target the tree. No! I think I did hit a second crit. I want to hit that bomb. Oh, the lightning orb does not have a lot of bounce to it. I should have been targeting the seal. Oops. Um, is there a... It doesn't look like there's a crit that I'm going to easily hit here. This is the knife one, so I, did, I only did 36 damage. Bummer. This bomb is... Or sorry, this, this boss is really taking it out on me. Oh, that was, that was bad too. Ouch. Okay, can we get a double bomb maybe? Yes. Yes. Triple bomb? That would be kind of cool. No. Okay, we, we have our crit, which is... Oh, double crit. That wasn't actually very good because we didn't hit any other blocks. Oh, no. Okay, we hit the, we hit the, the reset, though. That's good. I think we're going to die. The seal... Um... Or sorry, I guess they're a mole. They're not a seal, they're a mole. Um, the, the mole has only 104 health left. So we might be able to do this. Oh, that's certainly a lot of damage. Nice, nice, ouch. This could be it right here. Yeah, this is it. Because that hits anybody. Yeah, there we go. Rewards. Uh, nose for bat two <laughs> heals you and damages targeted enemy for one times amount of healed. Uh, infer inferno um, lighter than other orbs detonates bombs and one hit deals two damage to self when fired. 
Jack Orb Lantern. Instead of exiting the pegboard, this orb will return to the top of the pegboard one time. This uh, this feels familiar. This this one. This feels like a familiar orb. Like it might have been directly pulled, possibly from a peggle. Um, I kind of like this one. Deals 15 damage to self and fired. Why would I want that? Self damage increases by seven. This bat. That's awful. Why, why why do I want an orb that heals me, but then first damages me by a lot? All bombs are replaced with cherry bombs. I'm gonna call them cherry bombs. 150 base damage, four damage to self, and deals two times damage to enemies. That's kind of nice. Does self damage again, though. All orbs get plus two, plus zero, but boards contain one less crit. All orbs get plus zero, plus four, but boards contain one less reset. I have mixed feelings about offering the player a lot of relics or a lot of items that offer passive benefits at a cost because i feel like it's it's always like i know that offers the player a difficult choice to make but it's not necessarily a fun choice to make to choose bet between three basically debuffs or uh like items that hurt the player because though they offer a benefit um i i guarantee you that benefit isn't as exciting if it comes at a cost at some kind of like like um you know it, it basically hurts your odds in some way um i know that's like you, you kind of you can like lean lean into a strategy a little bit but i think that it's, it's just kind of not as fun if you're if you're choosing between three choices that just kind of hurt you um so i'll take the sapper sack Forest complete. All right. All right, we're in the, the castle. All right, we're gonna wanna go left when we complete this level. Oh, we're fighting mirrors now. Oh, we have, oh, I see, we do have the mirroring effect. Wow. This is gonna be a really good uh, hit right here. They have 777 health. Oh, and we hit, we, we hurt ourselves a little bit too there. Kind of want to hit that um, crit. Oh, nice. We also have the echo, so we do a lot of damage to all of them. I see, so they're, they're all hitting me when I hit them. Uh, mixed feelings about that. I'm not sure what, what I meant to do about that. Oh, this is going to be good. Maybe should have selected a different one. It's still not dead. Wow. Nice, I hit that. I hit the crit. So this knife should do a lot of damage. Uh, then we have the jack orb. And I hit the reset with the jack orb, which is great because... Um, that means it's it's gonna do even better on the second fall. Ooh, that was unexpectedly good. All right, the lightning one I think is gonna hurt us a little bit. Ooh, oh my goodness. The lightning one is actually really good. Oh, and got the reset again. Some of these sound effects are pretty nostalgic for me. I'm not sure what it is. They, they are very reminiscent of a lot of different games. All right. Jack or not even on its second run yet and is already, and it hit the reset, wow. Nice. Clearly this was my excellent strategy uh, at work here and not complete chaos involved. Oh my God, I hit the reset again. Um, not much it can do here with the knife. Just gotta kind of hope that it finds its way and it's not going to. Okay, that's fine. Also, are we doing like half damage? No, I don't think we are. And I actually killed the mirror on on that uh, knife. Pretty pretty bad knife one. Nice play. Oh, okay, so the rocks are gonna hurt us for sure. All right. Nice. Yes, come on, hit the crit. Yes, there it is. 
We uh, we did take a lot of damage on these mirrors. I'm not sure what I was meant to do to kind of negate that. I wonder if you can like choose not to use a specific orb. Oh dang. Oh dang. Nice, okay. Well, we took half of our health and damage. Deals no damage, heals you for each peg hit permanently removed from your deck after it is used. I don't like that. I, why would I take something that is uh, so temporary? Upgrades each peg it hits, plus one damage. Applies Bramble 2 on hit. Bramble deals six damage per Bramble level to passing enemies. Are unable to move. The enemies that move through them take damage. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna take the Swole Torb. So we're... Oh, I said left, didn't I? I wanted to go left, not right. Oh well. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we have moving, moving pegs now. Well, at least we have a normal enemy and not a, mi a weird mirror one. Could we make miracles happen and hit that crit? Nope. Nope, that's fine. I have pretty. I have a good feeling about. Oh, wait a minute. We have another enemy. Do we have another one coming after that? Yes, we do. Okay. So that's kind of an issue. Oh my God, that was a terrible jack orb throw. We got the crit though. We got two crits. At least these guys aren't ranged. I can't believe we didn't hit that crit, honestly. Okay, so we're gonna... I don't know if hitting a crit means it's gonna upgrade that crit. Hit the reset. Hit the reset. No. Um, alright. So I think that the slightly highlighted pegs offer a bit more damage. And obviously the ones that I hit before, up, like, uh, with the upgrade orb, are going to do some more damage. These guys are 100% going to catch up to me. Let's see if I can't make miracles happen with the Ek orb. That wasn't bad. Oh, they've, they've caught up to me. Yeah. It's time to pay the price. I may, I may actually die here. Oh. Oh, okay, we're hitting some of those upgrade pegs. Okay, we, we, we just need to kill two more without taking basically any damage and we should be fine. We'll be fine, it's fine. It's fine. 56. I, I think that the critical, hitting the critical doesn't really do anything if you do it at the end. Like, it does more the earlier you hit it. Which I guess makes sense. Okay, we, we only have one more enemy. So we want to hit that crit as soon as we can. And we've upgraded quite a lot of orbs here, so this might actually be really nice. It wasn't as good as one would hope, but that's okay. I'm gonna forgive myself, since it is almost basically total luck and chaos. There's the knife. Oh, if it hit the second uh, knife. Oh, that was awful. Still did a nice chunk of damage, though. Ah, oh, yes. Got the reset. All right, so we're almost dead. We should heal our HP instead of upgrading an orb. So we don't have a choice in the matter. Next time we, well, we could get two question marks or one treasure chest. I think I'll just get the one treasure chest. So this guy's got a shield. I'm assuming that's gonna mean he's quite tanky. Oh, I see, the shield's got its own little uh, health kit. We should probably kill the ranged ones first. I think we're gonna die on this uh, floor. I'm not sure, I, I don't think I have the damage output to 
to take care of this before they they do what they need to do for me. Oh, that bomb really gave a added some life to our our orb here. Oh, we're getting quite a lot of uh, upgrades from this. Nice. Oh my god, that killed everyone. Unfortunate that there was still someone left, but still. Now we can hit all of those upgrade orbs. We could also hit that, yeah, the cherry bomb. Nice. Excellent. We do a little damage to ourselves, but that's okay. We can heal a little bit of damage. Rub orb, extra bouncy. Pass. The uh, pumpkin one was tempting. So we want to go to the left. I don't. Uh, I don't want to have two uh, two two mystery prizes. I want one treasure chest. I guess taking left would have been bad because there's like an elite over there. Grabby hand. Flying enemies are attacked horizontally, allowing for improved targeting. Nice. That's just a good benefit. Nothing bad about that one. We can get two treasure chests coming up. Stumble upon a strange mirror with shadowing shadows flickering. We did this. Duplicate all orbs or duplicate a random orb. Let's duplicate a random orb. Uh, your stone, wow. The, I have like two stones left and a bunch of really good orbs, so I, I unfortunately duplicated the one bad orb. So this is a very aggressive level structure, wow. Uh... Uh, oh no. Okay, this is good. It's good. We got it. We got a bomb. Almost killed everyone. And killed one of them. Oh, I see. They're thwomps. The little thwompies. Nice. Okay, we got a bomb. We should be able to. Well, we won't be able to win because there's one enemy that's not in the level yet. Which is a weird uh, kind of design. We're basically not going to be able to take a new orb ever again because I'm relying a lot on these bombs for damage output. Alright, we want to go left because uh, therein lies a second treasure chest. Attacks gain plus one plus one, there you go. So we're gonna go right, because there's another treasure chest on the right. I mean that. Oh, okay, and then we want to go left again. More treasure chests. R moves after every shot. Not sure if that's good, to be honest. Nice about these, they're, they're very easy to make the choice. There's no randomness on those. Alright, third or fourth treasure chest. Uh, orb and relic battle rewards contain an additional option to choose from. Nice. I'm cool with all that. I'm pretty sure we're gonna die on the boss, but that's okay. We might even die here, who knows. Oh, our first orb is the, is the Ek Orb. That's a terrible pull, honestly. It relies a lot on your last attack. Okay, so we're, we're fighting, uh, we can't move our, okay, that's very good. We can't, we can't, uh, target the ranged units. That's, uh, probably going to ensure our death. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. If we get a really good bomb here. With a crit, not bad. Not bad. Nice. Excellent. All right. So we just need to kill this last. Um, it looks like a coat hanger, if I'm being honest. It looks like we're fighting a coat hanger. Nice. Okay, we're going to heal and then we're going to have 30 health for the boss. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. Music's really charming. I, in fact, the whole thing is pretty charming. I, I really I like the little 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 knights. They're really cute. Um, all right, so we're for sure gonna die here, right? That is like definitely happening. Uh, they just did thirty damage to me. Uh, what the heck, buddy? 
They also have 3,000 health. So, not really sure how I was meant to do this one. Alright. This will actually kill us. Um, so that'll, that'll do it for Peglin. Um, this is Peglin, and I think this is a, a pretty cool game. I will say, I, I don't know how much strategy there is in this game. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but when you, you know, when you go for a kind of a roguelite, uh, format, I do think that it, you, you know, choices should really matter, and the, there should be, like, some strategy to to maybe winning or negating some of the chaos uh, maybe that's where i'm at is i think that there aren't enough maybe uh things that you can choose that negate some of the chaos because that's uh as i've, I've come to learn what roguelites and roguelikes are really about is there you know they are um basically like lightning in a bottle and the t in in the form of uh, controlled chaos. You're throwing chaos at the player in the form of randomly generated levels, in the form of randomly generated loot tables and monster tables. And so in order to, to offset that a little bit, you offer the player a lot of control in terms of, um, you know, mitigating that chaos. And that's, you know, that's why deck builders are so effective at being so much fun is because you are a lot, a lot of the player's actions are in trying to offset that randomness with with strategy i don't know if there's as much in this one if there's maybe um a couple of choices that let you control how the ball moved a bit more or um you know maybe you know kind of offset some of the percentile percentile damage that you do um and i know like you take different weapons in the form of balls but i don't know if that's necessarily enough that's that's uh that's the choice in, in how much damage we're doing but um still we're not really con we don't have much control over or, or or decisions to make over where that ball goes or um you know how it really affects the battlefield or at least i don't feel that um i had much say in how this game went because at the end of the day i was still going to take 30 damage and that was going to be um like a third of my health in damage uh and i still had to overcome a 30,000 health bar um, so I don't know, but, uh, you know, I would have to play more to find out. Those are my immediate thoughts, but either way, I still like the idea of a Peggle roguelite, and I think that this is a really charming execution on that model. So, um, interesting game, and I would certainly like to come back to it. Uh, I'd like to thank the, uh, the <laughs> Game Development World Championship for their, um, you know, collaborative effort to reaching out to me and, and uh, offering me the opportunity to work with them and also the Red Nexus Games for offering me a key to, you know, try their game out. I hope I wasn't unkind. Um, if you did like this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.